you know, I was the, the prosecutor for the war crimes tribunal for the former Yugoslavia in Rwanda. You'd be hard pressed to think of two models that are more extremely different in their culture, history, and so on, and yet both of them within the span of a few years led to terrible, terrible atrocities being perpetrated. And I'm often asked, do you see any commonality? Do you see any themes between the two? Well, there are some. I can't tell you whether you know, historians and others who will look with some distance to these two conflicts will see the same themes. I saw a lot of pathologies. First of all, the pathology of identity, right, of the search for belonging, which is a, normally a very healthy human aspiration. You know, we search for our personal identity and our belonging to the immediate family, the clan. This is how we determine the scope of our language, cultural, religious affiliation, and define ourselves. Both, I think, in the case of Rwanda uh, and the, the region, right? it was not just Rwanda, Burundi, the Great Lakes, and there, to some ex extent, these factors are still there. Kinds of pathologies in the search for identity where uh, rather than pursuing the desire to belong, when I say it's a pathology, it's turned into the desire to exclude and ultimately, in its most extreme form, to genocide, to the actual elimination of the other as a form of affirming identity. In the two cases also, I think there were pathologies of the principle of obedience, loyalties um, to leaders fed either by, in the case of the former Yugoslavia, communist ideology, possibly, in the case of Rwanda, either by religious colonial teachings that overplayed obedience as a virtue, where people surrender their own moral judgment. I mean, there are just so many factors. I couldn't begin, I think, to do justice to it. But these were very striking to me in, in these cases. The surrender of personal moral judgment is, I think, a huge factor in mass slaughter, in following, uh, and in both cases also, extremely bad leadership. This would be putting it mildly.